Hi there, here is Sherbach and welcome to our studio. Today I could not go outdoor for my training session. I will tell you why just at the end of this episode. Uh, but uh, just as a great fan of Campagnolo, I have prepared for you three reasons for buying Campagnolo chorus group set instead of record or even super record. And I will explain you that uh, based on the uh, Campagnolo catalog. Uh, but if you wonder what will, what will these reasons be, here you have it. Reason number one, that's the price, or actually I would call it maybe price to uh, quality ratio. Reason number two is the features that it's packed with. And reason, reason number three is the weight, because this one really is really light and there is not so much difference between chorus and record or even uh, super record. So let's just see uh, what we have here. This is super record, this is record, this is chorus, the newest stuff. Uh, when we are buying um, components, anything to our bike, we want to have nice features, we want to have high quality, we want uh, these, this equipment to actually work and that's the case with the course. It is super high quality, a Campagnolo is really good with that and it has most of the features that Super Record has. So let's just see the features um, because those very important ones are for all three group sets, Chorus, uh, Record and Super Record. First one, that's the Ultra Shift. Uh, that's the system that allows you uh, to shift three cogs just in the row, um, like up the cassette. Uh, some would call it downshifting, Campanello call it upshifting. But anyway, three up the cassette and up to five down the cassette. So from uh, lower to higher gears, three and here this uh, direction five so ultra shift uh, system uh, that's actually the the quickest system uh, for uh, road uh, shifters and chorus has it record has it and super record has it uh, of course then the second one is the ultra torque system uh, that's the the way uh, the crankset uh, has been designed we have this spindle like um, cut in, in two pieces or just in two pieces. One is assembled to the left crank arm, the other one to the right crank arm. There is a bolt here inside that will connect it and it's super stiff, super strong, very well made and uh, you will find it only on the uh, Campanello crank sets. Uh, super Record has it, Record has it and Chorus has it as well. Uh, then on the 11 speed uh, rear derailleurs we have this Embrace technology only shared by Super Record, Record and Chorus and once more uh, that's the special like special system of those chain rings in the, in the uh, rear derailleur uh, that will allow for the rear derailleur to follow the curve or, or of the uh, cassette uh, both on 1 through 23 or uh, 11 through 23 or 11 through 29 uh, teeth. So you can just read some more infos here on the Campanello website about this, but Super Record has it, Record has it and the, uh, the Chorus uh, has it as well. Now two systems Chorus won't have, those don't matter so much. Uh, one is, uh, can be found on the uh, Record components, that the, that's the USB uh, bearings, it stands for ultra smooth bearings. That means that we have ceramic balls uh, in the bearings here. So you can read everything about it here on the website. Uh, this one is made for a record because Super Record it goes even higher with this cooled technology. Uh, and that's, um, that means both having ceramic um, balls and also those races are made of special specially designed steel uh, called Chronitech, super smooth, super smooth, super tough, uh, no rust, no wearing down of those uh, bearings. So Chorus doesn't have either uh, USB nor, uh, nor um, cold system, but correct me if I'm wrong, um, since these are actually same cranks at same designs, uh, aren't we able actually to swap up the original bearings with the USB? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but 99%, so if you know some, something more about it, let us know in the comment section. Uh, now we can just um, see those uh, group sets. Let's just start with the crankset. Same design, same look, carbon, uh, super hollow uh, system. 
Uh, the super record will weigh really low weight because uh, that's 603 grams because of the titanium uh, axle. Record will have 651 and course will have 683. Uh, of course, the crankset will give you the most of the weight savings, but still you have like 79 grams of savings here um, instead of having uh, chorus. Uh, let's just jump to another um, uh, reason, that's the price. I, I was going to show you that at the, at just at the beginning. Chorus group set uh, will cost like $1,000, uh, record one and a half, and <laughs> and Super Record will cost almost $1,900. So the, it will be double the price of the chorus. Uh, in my opinion, not really worth the uh, weight savings. And uh, now the, uh, the sprocket, the cassette. The cassette is still uh, here on the uh, chorus, but it will have all those uh, ultra shift tip design, ultra shift synchronization systems, just as uh, Record and Super Record has. The difference will be in terms of the weight, 230 on the uh, chorus, uh, 201 in record because of having three sprockets uh, made of titanium and Super Record has six made of titanium and it's 177. So if you want to have your racing uh, wheels, uh, you can just put the, on those Super Record cassette for some um, uh, weight savings. But as you can see, the systems will be the same. So the smoothness of your gear change will be the same. Um, all of those uh, group sets, Super Record Record and, and Course will have same uh, XPSS system for shifting, like super smooth shifting, uh, and each one will be specifically designed for the number of teeth of the chain rings you have. So it's all being shared here. Um, if we just look at the weight of those uh, brakes, let's just compare Chorus and Super Record. Super Record Dual Pivot will weigh 302, so, sorry, that's Chorus, and Super Record will weigh here 297, okay? So uh, Record will have here 309 uh, even, so there is not really a, a lot of weight savings here. Uh, and those chorus brakes will be just strong enough, that's for sure. Now, as I told you, um, the shifters will have, will share ergo power system and this ultra shift system. Uh, chorus will weigh 350, record, uh, let me see, 348, and then super record, 342. So, no weight savings actually here. Uh, and same systems. Now, rear derailleur. Of course, record will have some titanium instead of aluminum or steel comparing to uh, super record, comparing to record, uh, and record will have maybe more of the, uh, of the carbon fiber comparing to uh, chorus, but here we have rear derailleur, 166, uh, record will have 170, and chorus will have 183. So even though there is less carbon fiber and titanium, no titanium bolts, it's really light. Same systems on the front derailleurs, uh, Chorus will have 76 grams, Super Record will have 71. So will Record be in the middle? Yes, 75 grams. Uh, so it's specifically designed to give you some uh, weight savings, but not worth the money really. Uh, then let's jump to, is it not? Yeah, that's actually a whole group set here. So once more, um, the price is just crashing for chorus comparing to super record or even record. It's half the price. Uh, you can see exact weight savings uh, on the catalog. It's not so much really. It's, uh, I think you will not be, I'm sure you will not be faster rider on super record comparing to record. Whereas you have same systems. You have ultra torque, you have ultra shift. Uh, you have embraced technology on the rear derailleur, you have same design, uh, yet yeah, especially the crankset and the uh, sprocket will be heavier, but it does not matter that much. It works, it's super high quality, uh, and that's what I really like about Campanello cores. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna be uh, putting up some bikes for the next year on different 
components uh, now specifically especially for SRAM and Campagnolo because, because there's so much Shimano around us so I want to do also something else and FSA of course uh, but this is what I wanted to share with you about uh, Campagnolo so let me know in the comment section what do you think and uh, tomorrow tomorrow you, you have asked me uh, to do the episode on the aero bike uh, meaning how does it shift how does it break something just for the beginner so I'm gonna do that uh, and now I'm hoping to get outdoor and and train because in the morning I was going to make like 150 kilometers on my aero bike but I ate some soup which was supposed to be kept in the fridge and I got sick I oh man I got so sick it was like super fast it took me four hours to really recover but it was super bad uh, so now I'm just um, editing this video for you and go with my killer this time uh, outdoor and do some training for the Saturday XC uh, race guys thank you for watching stay with me and I'll see you soon bye bye